Now, in this video, we are going to do an algebra on sum. There is a square field whose side is 10 meter. See, if I take the square field, side is given 10 meter. See, you know square also, four sides are equal. A square flower bed is prepared in the center, leaving a gravel path all round the flower bed. See, he, this is also square shape. This is a flower bed. If you take it, it leaves all the four sides leaving the path. That we can take it as width. For length, two width will be the same way. For breadth, two width. Okay. Now, the total cost of laying the flower bed and graveling the path is at rupees 3 and 4. What they are saying, actually the total cost of laying the flower bed and graveling the path is, laying the flower bed is 3, graveling the path is 4, laying the flower bed is 3 and the both total is given here, respectively is rupees 364. So that if you write it in words, total cost is equal to cost of laying flower bed plus and graveling the path cost of laying flower bed is rupees 3 per square meter it is rupees 3 per square meter it is rupees 4 per square meter that is first we have to find out what what is cost of laying flower bed so flower bed we know nothing given here side is not given we'll take it as a we know flower bed area is area of the flower bed is square shape so we know area of the flower bed equal to a into a which is a square we know area of the square because it's not given i have taken a okay now area of the here graveling path you have to given us 4 that is graveling path you have to find out for that we have to find out first area of the outer square so area of the outer square is 10 into 10 equal to 100 so what we need to find out we know flower bed this one what is given it is rupees 3 means multiply with 3 so you are getting 3a square and uh, graveling path this you have to find out for, for, for find out or to find out this we need to find out first area of the outer square minus area of the inner square so area of the graveling path area of the graveling path is equal to area of the outer square minus area of the inner square O for outer I for inner area of the outer square you know 10 into 10 100 minus what is area of the inner square flower bed A square but what is given here cost is given here just don't write now 3, leave it a square, area of the flower bed is a square, graveling path is given here 4. So, when you are writing cost, this is just your written only area. So, total cost, what is given? Total cost is given here 364. And what is given here? Area of the flower bed is rupees 3, area of the flower bed is rupees 3, rupees 3 per square meter. So, this is total cost equal to area of the flower bed, cost of the flower bed, cost of the flower bed, okay. laying flower bed plus cost of graveling path. So total cost is 364 equal to cost of laying flower bed is 3 per square meter. So how much area is 3 into a square. So 3a square plus here what you are getting graveling path is 100 minus a square. 
but it is rupees 4 plus square meters so 100 minus 4 into 100 minus a squared so now 364 is equal to 3 a squared plus 4 into 100 400 minus 4 into a squared minus 4 a squared so now what you are getting 364 minus equal to 3a squared minus 4a squared is 400 minus a squared. So, 364 equal to 400 minus a squared. You got it in the previous page. We have worked out. Now, we need to find out a squared. So, bring it is minus. So, we will bring a squared this side. 364 will take it that side. So, minus will be plus. When it goes that side, it will be minus. Minus 364. So, a squared is equal to 400 minus 364. 6. You are getting 36. So, a squared is 36 means a is 6. I am not taking minus value. Only 6 I am taking. So now we have to find out length width of the gravel path. We have to find out width of the gravel path. So we need to find out this width, two width, other no, this width only we have to find out. One width, just width, one width we have to find out. Okay. So what is total is 10. What you got here? Here. Flower bed area here now you got a 6. So 10 minus 6 equal to you are getting 4. This is here 2 width. So but you have to find out only 1 width. So width only width. So 4 by 2. So width equal to you are getting 2. So your answer is 2. So width of the flower bed. Find the width of the flower bed. Gravel path. Not a flower bed sorry by mistake because path it is a path path means uh, very outer okay so that you are getting to so I hope you understand this sum is very easy for looking it will be difficult but when you listen carefully it will be very easy shall we go to next sum now we are going to do the next sum. The hypotenuse of a right angled triangle is 25 centimeter. So if you take this is you know right angle triangle I explain, explained in my trigonometry introduction. So if please go through. This is the hypotenuse. It is 25. And its perimeter is 56. Perimeter suppose you take this is A, this is B, this is side C. So, perimeter is A plus B plus C equal to 56 centimeter given. Find the length of the smallest side. So, you will get two sides are your smallest which is you have to find two sides and which is smallest side you must take it as an answer. Okay. So, using this only we are going to do. And we know by Pythagoras theorem. This two sides, sum of the squares of two sides equal to the other side. So that we are going to use here. A plus B plus C equal to 56. And we know that C is given here 25. So C is given here 25. In the sum it is given hypotenuse. So A plus B plus 25 is equal to 56 substitute here so what is a plus b 56 minus 25 a plus b if you subtract 6 minus 5 minus 2 you're getting a plus b what i am going to do in this to find the length i'm going to find out a b and then i'm going to apply quadratic equation formula x squared minus sum of the sum into x plus product equal to 0. What is called framing quadratic equation? Using that, I will get the length. Okay, sides. Okay, now, by Pythagoras theorem, we know that a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. By Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Also, in algebra, we learned 
alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to alpha plus beta whole squared minus 2 alpha beta we are going to use it already in one video many videos have said this so this formula we are going to use i explain how also we are getting when you expand this 1 2 alpha beta uh, plus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta will get cancelled you'll get only alpha square beta square okay so using here what you are getting a square plus b square can be written as a plus b whole squared minus 2ab is equal to you are getting c squared okay a plus b what you got 31 so 31 squared i am doing this to find ab only so ab is unknown we are going to find out equal to what is cc is 25 so 25 squared okay now minus 2ab will take it that side because i want it uh, in positive so take it that side you bring this side so 31 into 31 we're getting 961 minus 25 squared we know very well 25 squared is 625 so bring it aside 625 when it is plus when you bring it aside this will be minus minus 2ab when you take it aside it will be plus 2ab why i am doing all this already i told a plus b i know i am finding ab then i am going to apply in quadratic formula and get the answer okay now subtract this 961 minus 625 what you are getting 336 you are getting so 2ab i am bringing this side to ab 336 so what is ab 336 by 2 you are getting 1 6 8 so getting ab is 168 now oh, use a quadratic formula x squared minus sum into x plus product framing quadratic equation so this is sum this is product so x squared minus 31x plus 168 equal to 0 now we know the formula quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus sum minus square root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a here we know a is 1, b is minus 31, c is 168. Now minus, minus of minus 31 plus or minus b squared minus 31 squared minus 4 into a into c is 168 by 2 into a many videos i taught how to calculate 31 square 31 into 31 already we have done in the previous page and get it is 961 minus 4 into 168 32 3 24 27 2 4 so 672 by 2 31 plus or minus 961 minus 672 we are getting 982 okay square root of 289 by 2 so 31 plus or minus 289 square root is we know very well 17 square is 289 Otherwise, also in many videos I taught how to find out. Always remember table. This is taken as 17 by 2. 31 minus 17 by 2. You are getting 48 by 2. Subtracting, you are getting 14 by 2. So, you are getting 24 and 7. But what is your smallest length side? 7. So, your answer is. We asked length of the smallest side is 7. Because 24 is bigger, so don't take. You 
this is your final answer.